are you guys? My name is Diego. In this video, I would like to get you to be able to play this very simple riff from the song You Can't Touch This by MC Hammer. So let me show you because we love this song for people that have just started taking guitar because it's almost a way of getting a little bit of practice time, but at the same time doing it with something that sounds a little bit fun. So uh, the first thing is that we're going to be on position two. What that means is that my first finger play all the fret twos. This one is going to be all fret threes fret four and fret five. So when you play guitar, you want to avoid this. This is gonna, That's going to make you sound like a beginner. So we want to train our fingers to play each one of the frets. Uh, you probably already know, play the fret right on the right side from you. So that way you get a clear tone. So once we have that, uh, we are going to start with actually the pinky and the first four notes are on the fifth string. So top uh, string is uh, six, bottom string towards the floor will be string one. So we're gonna do this uh, in terms of like the number of the frets, five, three, two, zero. And what I'm doing there is I'm playing with the pinky, I'm playing with my finger two, with my finger one, and then a zero. Now you don't wanna do this and switch fingers there. Uh, there's a tendency to do that when you're practicing, try to keep your hands spread out, one finger per fret. So maybe practice just that. Do that again and do that again so it's okay to take say in sections that you're practicing and maybe do something little do it over and over until like you introduce more stuff to it so the next part we're going to do zero three and then we're going to do two zero so that next part goes right immediately after So that second part is zero three on the sixth string and then two zero on the fifth string. Now, one thing that I like about this uh, little pattern is that we're using, uh, I'm using a mute, uh, I'm muting the strings right after I play them. And I think you want that because you don't want long notes. You don't want this. You want short notes right after you play the fourth one. So I'm muting the strings by taking the, my fingers and putting them very, very lightly against the strings. That is a technique that is very important because you want to be able to control buzz on your plane. So when you play the fourth note, try to take it. You need to put it very, very lightly because if you don't, you're going to get literally sound. So you don't want to do... If you hit it too hard you're gonna get a bunch of tone that you don't want. So practice that, practice it as I had there. You can start by doing it slowly. So you wanna take some kind of like drum beat or metronome and be able to play it slowly. So once you have it, I would definitely recommend take the recording and play it with the recording. The recording is pretty fast, but on YouTube, you can slow down tracks by going to the playback settings and change it there. So it is definitely a fun little pattern that we recommend our beginner students to do because I do believe that things like this, when you tie them up and you do multiple different ones, they're gonna give you a little bit of practice time and at the same time, they're gonna help into the mechanical coordination so you can get started in playing guitar. If you would like to know a little bit more about what we do here at The Hit, check our main website, thehitmusicstudio.com. We'll see you guys on the next one.